In this session, we are going to look at something called a perpetuity. Now, a perpetuity, very simply, is an annuity which arises forever. So, for example, if someone agreed to give you £20 every year forevermore, then that would be a perpetuity. Now, what we want to do in this session is calculate the present value of a perpetuity. If you know the formula for this, it's very straightforward. The present value of a perpetuity is equal to the cash flow per annum, so how much you are going to receive each year, divided by the interest rate or the discount rate. So very straightforward. Make sure you know that formula for the exam. Let's look at an exercise then and put this into practice. So we're told a company expects to receive $1,000 each year in perpetuity. The current discount rate is 10%. So for part A, we just need to calculate the present value of this perpetuity. So the present value then is very simply the value of the annual cash flow, so the amount we're going to receive every year, divided by the discount rate, which is 10% or 0 0.1. So the present value of receiving $1,000 each year forevermore is $10,000. Very straightforward, I hope. What about part B? That's going to be a little less straightforward, unfortunately. We're asked what is the value, so what is the present value of the perpetuity if it starts in three years' time? So if we look at a timeline for this one, we're in T0, this moment in time. Got T1, T2, then in T3, so in three years' time, we're going to receive our first payment of 1,000. In T4, we'll receive our next payment of 1,000 and so on forevermore. So, if we calculate the present value of the perpetuity using our formula, then what we are going to be doing is calculating the present value in year two, so the year immediately before we receive the first payment. So our first step then will calculate the present value of the perpetuity in T2. But if we want to find the present value in T0, then we are going to have to discount back from T2 to T0. So, step one then, we calculate the value of the perp in T2, so the year immediately before we get the first payment. It'll just be our formula, the annual cash flow, divided by the discount rate of 0 0.1. So we get a value of 10,000. So in two years' time, this perpetuity is going to be worth $10,000. Now we need to discount back to calculate how much is that $10,000 worth right now. So if we discount back to T0, then the present value of this $10,000 will be 10,000 multiplied by the discount factor for a sum receivable in two years' time with a discount rate of 10%. We look at our 
present value tables. And we see discount factor 10%, value of N is equal to 2, so our discount factor is 0 0.826. So when we discount to T0, it's 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.826, so 8,260.